the better for everybody. Thank you. Just stop oil, everybody, here on Whitehall today. Um, also, there's just stop thinking. Very interesting moment earlier, talking with one of the ladies in the protest, asking her why she thought it was okay to walk along Whitehall, create this huge backup, create the need for excess policing, which could be deployed elsewhere, i.e. crime fighting, ideally. Uh, but more importantly, why they're happy to use banners that are oil-based. Uh, and her response to that is, that's regrettable. In other words, she didn't even bother to try and convince me that the banners they're using are not oil-based. She basically admitted it and said, that's regrettable. Now, if that isn't the definition of hypocrisy, I don't know what is. Okay, we're regrettably using oil because it serves our purpose to make banners to walk along the street to cause excess emissions. But if you good people decide to drive your vehicles to work or anywhere else, then it's, it's not good, etc. Why is it not good? Well, for two reasons. It's not good for reason number one, they don't like it. And two, it doesn't fit in with their narrative, does it? You see, this is, uh, this is the bizarre problem with these people. It's all about what they want not about what's good uh, for the majority of people, i.e. being able to go to work or carry out your lawful business, or, you know, go and serve your customers if you have deliveries, etc. In other words, it's bang out of order. And it was good this morning to see so many people getting out of their vehicles and uh, physically tossing these idiots aside because that's where they belong, on the curb. What an extraordinary thing to see, eh? Buses are probably backed up way past, uh, we think, Parliament Square, to, down toward uh, Victoria Station, possibly even as far as uh, Hyde Park Corner. This way you'll have absolute chaos with the traffic going from Hyde Park Corner all the way up uh, along Park Lane to Marble Arch. Yeah, extraordinary, isn't it? Now they're just walking past horse guards. So uh, at that moment, I think I'll leave them alone because why? Just idiots, aren't they, really? Simple as that. So just the oil meets. Horse guards, much more interesting view this way. Okay, so they've just been informed that somebody on the bus is ill and needs uh, medical attention. So they've decided that they're going to let a couple of buses through so that the passenger, who is apparently unwell, is able to get medical attention. Okay, so they've let one bus through. Let's see what they decide to do now. Here we go, look. Look, one guy thinks he's going to dictate public traffic. Okay, yeah, go ahead, champ. Is that not the job of the police to direct the traffic? Or is it now the job of uh, protesters, shall we say? Oh, here we go, look. So this one's gonna come through. Let's see how many more get through. I can count at least 10 to 12 buses lined up along the road here. Look at them all, all the way past 10 Downing Street, all the way up toward Parliament Square. At least, at least a dozen buses, if not more, all backed up. But here we go again, now they resume. Now they're gonna resume the protest. Here we go. But ask for a green light policy. So they're back. It continues, everyone. Here we go. Look. Lovely to uh, see the police. You wouldn't believe it, folks, would you? If you didn't actually see it live here right now, you would not believe this. I mean, I'm standing here watching it, and I can barely believe it. Utterly extraordinary. I mean, like, utterly, utterly extraordinary. And one of them's got the balls to come and talk to me either. Okay, one lady tried, but shut her down pretty fast because she had nothing to say. But just unbelievable. It really is shocking. And these, look, look at this, look. This is what we have to suffer in central London, just so that they can march uh, with oil-based... Oh, is that another oil-based banner that you're taking there to the protest? Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, it's oil-based. Conveniently, you decided not to answer that question. What a surprise. In other words, yes, it is oil-based, and yes, we're thick as shit. Can you imagine, guys, that all of these police just standing around, basically looking after these lot, okay? The reason the police are here is not for public safety. Oh, no, 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 no. The police are here because our politicians think that these bunch of clowns need protection from motorists that might get angry because they can't pick up their kids from school, they can't go to the doctors, they can't deliver when they're out on their rounds for their employer, they can't go from A to B, travelling salespeople, just like what? This is the absolute epitome right here, right now, of everything that's wrong in this fine country of ours at this moment in time.
Wouldn't believe it, would you? Utterly extraordinary. Between here and Parliament Square, there are probably a couple of dozen officers, I would think. More importantly, look, even even other chaps walking along behind them, making sure that you know nobody decides to intervene. Utterly, utterly incredible. Look, see, even more arriving now to help make sure that they're not harassed or assaulted or having to deal with, you know, normal public voicing their opinions. Enough of that.